guys, welcome back to our channel. For anyone that's new, I'm Charlie, and this is Will, my fiance, and today is day two of our Walt Disney World trip. We are off to Epcot today, which we cannot wait for. We've had a slightly later start, that's not the lifts. We've had a slightly later start to the day, trying to get used to the time difference still, so trying to lay in and stay up late to adjust our body clocks. Um, but today we're gonna try the, I don't know if it's a breakfast place, I don't think it is, it's, it's called the Lickety Split, which is like a coffee shop here at the Four Seasons Orlando. Where are you, Guy? There you are. I'm there, I'm there. <laughs> um, which is like a coffee shop here at the Four Seasons Orlando. So let's head downstairs and see what's on offer. So if you've watched part one, you'll know that this is my first trip. Oh God, I'm everywhere. This is my first trip to Disney World Orlando and I was so, so excited. Obviously day one you have to go to Magic Kingdom, Charlie tells me, <laughs> but I've been so excited to see Epcot, to go to Epcot and see all the countries, and that is what we're doing today, and I'm so, so excited for it. So here at the Lickety Split, they serve coffees, breakfast, and then there are more, kind of like, lunch options, I guess. Yeah. And then they do gelato and sorbet which looks amazing, these flavours. We're definitely going to have to check some of these out at some point in the trip. We've got some macaroons in here as well. Also there's the cold drink section with some bits to go. They look quite nice. Also these bits over here. Oh, the light's doing that funny thing. I'll let it go, it stopped. There's also a help yourself station here. Some iced lime water, some cream, little condiments there for your coffee. And then we're going to take a seat outside. Will's gone to find a table. Oh, here he is. I think I'm regretting sitting in the sun. I was going to say, this is, that's not what I thought where I thought you'd yeah, sit. Yeah, that's far too warm. This is my first iced coffee, coffee product of this holiday. The reason I'm having it is because I'm yet to visit the toilet properly. <laughs> which is not What's normally to... I, I didn't go the day we flew, which is Monday, it's now Wednesday. It's not normal for me. This at home normally helps me, so yeah, let's see how it is. I went I went for a small, so I don't want, um, you know. I got a shot of vanilla in my latte, so yeah, let's see how it is. Very, very nice. We are in business. Oh my God, that smells incredible. What does? My thingy, it smells lovely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Tell me. Oh, that smell good. <coughs> I got a breakfast. egg frittata with cheese and zucchini, which I Googled, it's like a courgette. This is my avocado toast with eggs, brought over some complimentary ice water. Will's treated us to a cinnamon roll, so can't wait. Let's tuck in. It's time. We're gonna go back up to the room and then we're gonna get on with our day. I'm about to bring my breakfast with me. <laughs> oh, look, there's, there's a toilet here. I'm, just, I'm gonna go here. Guys, I'm sure you can guess what just happened because this happened in our previous vlog when we went to Turkey. Yeah, the cleaners are serviced in our room, <laughs> so we've run upstairs and now I've had to run back downstairs to use the lobby toilet. Other <laughs> words, smiling. So we've just checked out the bus times and the one going to Epcot isn't now, so we've chosen to get an Uber. The Uber, same as last night actually, home from Disney Springs, is only costing $8. So for the sake of $8 to leave right now, that is what we're going to do. Oh no. I am keeping my eye on the app for when the Uber arrives and then we'll be on our way to the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Which you don't think makes sense. It just doesn't sound right, but I love the name Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Community of Tomorrow makes sense and Experimental Prototype makes sense, but Experimental Prototype of Community of Tomorrow doesn't make sense. But who am I to change the name of Epcot? <laughs> On the Golden Oaks estate, there are lots of wonderful houses here. 
and we've just got a really good view of some of them. Here comes a statue. Oh, we've got a statue coming up. It's aerial. <laughs> Boy, this is your dream place to live, isn't it? <laughs> Can you imagine walking Mini next to a statue of aerial flounder? It's too hot on her paws. We'll have oh, to walk her at night. Oh, yeah. And then there's alligators there, the eater. No. Yeah, it is hot today. Oh I managed to sun cream today though. I forgot yesterday and my forehead was looking a little bit pink. So today I am dressed, in my own words, as a sporty guy. A sporty guy? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just wearing gym wear today. Got a it's gym... a look. Yeah, I've got my little gym shark top on. Little Nike shorts I've had for about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I think you look great. Thanks. What about you? So today I'm wearing sh like linen shorts. I don't know where they're from. Um, I just got my vans on today and an oversized black t-shirt. <laughs> Guys, annoyingly, my watch has died, so you might notice in these vlogs that it's always 10 past 11. <laughs> and it's the 7th of the month. So I have no recollection of the time. I have to get my phone out all the time. My God, boy, this is warm. No, isn't it? So I've just connected to the Disney guest Wi-Fi and had a little look at joining the virtual queue just so that I'm prepared for when it comes to one o'clock but it's recognised that I'm not in the park yet so I know it says you have to be in the park but you physically have to be in the park not just outside the park so I'm just going to make sure that when it comes to one o'clock that we are that we've got signal on our phones and that I've selected the party and that I'm just refreshing refreshing because it would be really good to get on Guardians today Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you for asking. Go ahead and put your finger right in there. And wait for that green light. Perfect, have fun. Lovely, have a nice day. You too. For me. For me. <laughs> We're about to head on to Spaceship Earth because Charlie said he's never done it before and it's only a five minute wait, so why not? Enjoy 
enjoyed that. You enjoyed that as well. I loved it. But I thought it might be boring because you said you've never been on it before. Oh God, bright, bright, bright. But that was so interesting. I really liked it. Definitely recommend. So I definitely do not miss the booking your fast passes in advance. Though I really thought I would. But I certainly feel a lot more relaxed. A lot more easy breezy with the day. So, you know, I'm all for it. We haven't tried Genie Plus yet because we haven't really felt we've needed to. Um, but what the one thing that does put me on edge is joining this virtual queue. Now we've got a little bit less than 10 minutes before the one o'clock chance to join the virtual queue comes up, which I'm all ready for with my phone. But yeah, that's the only thing that I'm like, oh God, we have to get this done. Because I didn't want to get up early today to do it at 7 a.m. So yeah, fingers crossed that we are able to join the queue and then we can just relax and go about our day. So I think we're just gonna pop into the creation shop, which is just the left-hand side of the exit of Spaceship Earth, just to kill a few minutes before we join the queue, so see you guys in there. I want to see Buzz in his box. I love these kind of things where they're kind of replicas of the things we see in the films. So when we're in, is it Al's toy barn? I imagine this is what yeah, a Zerg toy would look like. Yeah, because look, Arch Enemy of Buzz Lightyear. Oh, Arch Nemesis. You in? Oh my God. You look like a Transformer. Hey! <laughs> Knew he was gonna do that. Do peace. Peace, y'all. <laughs> He's trying to be serious getting into virtual queue, and I'm just putting ears on him. <laughs> these are your gay ears. They're my gay ears, these ones, look. <laughs> See? And these are my Mickey Mouse Club ears. Um, makes my head look big, but it's really small. We've got two minutes though. I just keep tapping refresh, even though it doesn't do anything until you actually at the right time, but you never know. We're at one o'clock. Yes! Boarding group 111. Sweet, done. Well done, guy. I can relax, right, let's go shopping. I'm forcing him to try this on. I've always pictured him wearing this for some reason. So he doesn't want to ruin his hair. There you are. What do you think? Should I buy it? I feel like Minnie. That's what she feels <laughs> like. Oh, he doesn't mean Minnie Mouse, he means Minnie, our dog. <laughs> oh, that sunburn's a bit real from yesterday. Is the barnet all right? Yeah, look how red my forehead is. Relax. Oh yeah, look. It is red, isn't it? Only a little bit, it'll be okay. The ever exciting person that I am, or should I say that we are? I feel like this would be our choice of t-shirt. Do you agree? Out of all the t-shirts, would that be your choice too? Yeah, still no though, it's too much colour. Too busy, too, yeah. too colourful guys. Too colourful apparently. <laughs> Look, they're all the um, Disney characters. Guess how much that is? I don't think that's too bad. Uh, 69. And, and it's got all the, um, all the other games in there. 99. I don't think that's too bad at all. No, it's not too bad. Because that feels really heavy. I think that's good quality. Oh my god, and these ones. Disney Parks Monopoly. Monopoly. And, uh, well, oh, I'm assuming Star that's Wars, Cluedo, Disney villains version. Uh, do you say no, it's got Star Wars in it? <laughs> <laughs> so we've bumped into this lady a few times now um, on her wheelchair, and she's got so many pins on her that canopy, I want to say. So I've just set Charlie this challenge and he just did it. I wish I had it on camera, so I'm gonna make him do it again. Boy. No, don't feel like this is unauthentic because you do keep asking me to do it, so oh. are you ready? Can't <laughs> yeah. make people jump. <laughs> no. Adventure is out there! <laughs> <laughs> you did that right in front of them people! <laughs> That's why I thought it'd be funny, because I'm making you jump. <laughs> Guys, the reason that's so funny is because Charlie probably says that saying about once a day. Like, I might be at one end of the house and he'll be upstairs at the other side and I'll just hear it from the bedroom or something. <laughs> oh my God, it's a few to here, boy. People are probably thinking, yes, yes. You don't talk much. I like you, see you tomorrow, kid. Charlie just said we was going on soaring and I was like, oh, okay, okay. So I just followed him here. 
just saw the picture of what it actually is. This is a ride I've been so excited to go on because Charlie keeps talking to me about it. He just knows what I like, so he tells me about them things. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Is this the one where they like, put you in the thing and then you go forward a little bit and it's like you're flying? Because uh, there's. Forward, isn't that Avatar? Because that's quite similar, isn't it? Avatar's like a much more modernised concept of this sort of ride system. But I'm going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. God, I can't wait. Please take a seat, store all carry-on items in the emergency compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Well, wherever your final destination is, the best thing I've ever been on. What better than Tron? Ever. <laughs> so we just went on soaring. I, just, I absolutely love nature, being outside and like fresh air and stuff. So I just felt like that was almost so emotional. I said to Charlie I wanted to cry at some bits because I don't know, it just felt so real. I just love that so much. I'm going on that again before we go home. That was incredible. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. Flower petals are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. So that was living with the land. It had like a five minute wait, so we thought, why not? It's not my favorite, but we enjoyed it. So that's cute. And now here we are at World Showcase. Oh my God, that looks insane. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Oh look, ducks. Disney ducks. And that over there is the Frozen Crown, that's the English pub. <laughs> Guys, this is what we like all the time. When we see animals, we love animals. So we're always like, oh look ducks, or look, it's a doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Just love animals. <laughs> way and you decide that the first food item you want to try is the roasted Irish sausage. <laughs> Let's do it. What do you think? That's really good. Boy, well done. <laughs> he was nervous I, to say I bye. Said, so I said goodbye to Alice because <laughs> she was leaving. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it funny, we come all the way from home and we're obsessed with something that looks like home. Oh, they should have changed the bins. Other than that, it's quite spot on. Should we go through this shop? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Queenie. King. <laughs> it smells like a pub. Yeah, it does. Isn't that weird? Alice meeting and greeting. The murder. <laughs> we must find the culprit. We must find the culprit. What's <laughs> that? We've got a warm beignet filled with three cheese blend, a croissant or something, garlic and parsley, a beef bourguignon, grey sugar and scar and puff potatoes, vanilla creme brulee, strawberry jam.
just taking himself off <laughs> because he's actually looking at whether the Ratatouille ride has reopened. They've just shut it for technical issues and Charlie said it's worth sticking around for a little bit just in case it um, opens up again, which it has. So we're going to go, we're going to go. Like Charlie said, that was a four minute queue. So boy, your advice was good. If, you want, if the ride is broken down, go straight to it. Because <laughs> the queue time, it'll reopen again as soon as possible and the queue time will be minimal. But we were lucky, but... We, we were yeah. lucky. But we've headed round from France now. We're now in um, Morocco. Almost. Actually, almost, because we've stopped at the Mel Belgium food stand before to get um, a Belgian waffle with whipped cream and chocolate ganache it said. We should have got a knife. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. I, I think I need to get you a knife. Oh. Wait there boy. It's right, I might do. You sure? Yeah. As much as you want, okay? No. I'll have this bit and you have the rest, yeah? You sure? Yeah. Positive. I love sharing sweet things with Charlie because he only wants a small bit. And I go, no, you can have half, it's fine. And I know he won't have it. But then sometimes he does enjoy things and he does want half of it or maybe more and I'm like, not what I had planned. <laughs> So we've started to speed it up a little bit because the virtual queue we are in for Guardians of the Galaxy is um, fast coming, approaching. Fast approaching. So we're not going to dive into every single country now. We're just going to walk through, and you know maybe we'll come back and we'll go through them in more detail. But now we're on the other side of the lake. Is it a lake? Yeah. Yeah. We sort of need to speed up a little bit. For those of you who don't know, Will absolutely loves things like this, don't you boy? Like models. Models and... Little cities, little towns. Yeah. So look at the stream. Oh. It's meant to look like a river. Oh, the stream. Make a wish. Oh, I nearly missed. <laughs> okay. Boy, oh, dead in the centre. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Better than mine. We can tell. You are such a good boy. Oh, <laughs> what lovely to meet you. So we just walked past a dog that had ears on, so I just plucked up the courage to say, I'm so sorry, can I have a picture of your dog? And she said, do you want him, 
Yeah, sure. Do you want him with or without his sunglasses? And I was like, oh my god, with, please. <laughs> Turns out, he's a famous dog. He's got his own social media. So, where's this boy? Norway. Oh, this is Norway. And just as we arrive, our time has come. We couldn't have timed it better. We did this yesterday as well. We, we did. Well. So here it goes. I hear the best ride at Disney World. We will let you know what we think. Thank you. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Zandar features an unparalleled collection of arboretums and recreational areas. Please step forward into the Welcome Center. Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Zandar. Everybody wants to rule the world. <laughs> I don't actually know what that song's called. I don't know the song at all. <laughs> but that is the song that we had for our Ride on Guardians. We loved it, didn't we? Yeah, we did really, really like Such it. Such a good ride. It was 45 minutes from the moment we walked in to the moment we got on the ride. Which I don't think, I don't yeah. think is bad for a, oh. um, for a new ride. But no, it was just so good. I was saying to Charlie that I can't believe that they don't make you put your bags and stuff in lockers because that ride throws you around. Yeah. But no, it was really, really good. Uh, I thought it stopped halfway through. And um, obviously when you're on something like a good ride, you think, oh, but it didn't. It just went again. Yeah, oh, it I was just thought, thought it was so good. It was so fast. Majority of it's in the dark, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's fantastic. I love how smooth it is as well. You can tell it's a new roller coaster. You just glide. Thrill, yeah, it can you? chuck you around that much and you don't really feel it on the on the Not on your neck or your head rails. or your, like, your body. Yeah, yeah, you're just so comfortable going around. So, yeah, ten out of ten. I absolutely loved it. Oh, I love a roller coaster. Coaster. <laughs> coaster. 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 We popped into. Is it called Connections E3? It is. Yeah. Just check the sign behind me for a very on-brand needed refreshment. A Coca Cola. Oh God, I've just reminded me of that slushy we had last night. That was so good at the rooftop. Oh, the, the icy. icy. The icy. Sorry, I can't yeah. keep calling them slush puppy, but slush puppy is actually a brand. It's a brand, it? yeah, sort of thing. So we're gonna just take a moment here, chill out. Because guys, I'm not gonna lie, my feet are really starting to hurt me now. Yesterday, I was uh, like boasting that. Oh no, my feet don't hurt. Today they're hurting. Oh damn. So to rest up, go on lots of little water rides where you just get to sit down. Thank you. Stop playing games! Games? I love games! Ooh, I'm thinking there's something pink and bouncy that looks like a balloon! Ah, jellyfish! Right! <laughs> And 
Saturday. What happens here? So you can take your names from the other so when we got off the Nemo ride, we ended up staying in that building for a little while because there's, I didn't realise they've got all like aquariums, all tanks full of dolphins, um, sharks. sharks, like loads of different types of fish seahorses, starfish, manta rays, is that what that big thing was called? Yeah. Um, stingrays, things like that. I just found it really fascinating. So we ended up, how long have we been there for? Like half an hour? Probably. Yeah, I just found that really cool. But we're killing a bit of time now before we go for dinner at... Viennapoli. In Italy. So I think we're gonna do soaring again because it's only a 15 minute queue. So we've just come out of soaring for the second time today. Oh, it's just such a oh, lovely love ride, that. isn't it? Yeah. Such a lovely ride. We wasn't on the front row this time, we was on the middle row, which once you get up there, I guess it doesn't make a huge difference. But I could see everyone's um, legs Feet. dangling in front of me though, that was quite off-putting. Yeah. Do so you want to get in the front row, prefer, but I don't know how you do that. Prefer the front row. Because the front row, it takes you to the top. So you are on top, so no one's feet are dangling in front of you. So we are on our way to the Norway Pavilion because Frozen Ever After has a 45 minute wait, yeah, which is the lowest it's been today. I need the Maleficent oh, yeah. ears. I lost mine, I have to get another four. Yeah, need to get the Maleficent ears also. And we've got an hour and 15 minutes until our dinner reservation at Viennapoli. So we think we could, while we make our way round, squeeze Frozen in, have our dinner. And our plan is to stay and watch the Epcot fireworks. I think if we don't crash by then. I think it's called Illuminations. What time is it? Nine o'clock? Hmm. Huh? What time is it? Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> oh gosh! Um, <laughs> nine o'clock. That is on. That should work out quite well. And we are returning to Epcot next week. So, the bit of World Showcase we haven't seen. And also Test Track. We'll make sure we hit that. So if you want to yeah, see... we went into detail, <laughs> I feel, earlier about um, in the countries. And then it got to a point where we it was sort of like, it's Germany, it's Norway, right, we've got to go. Yeah. <laughs> so there will be more Epcot footage, content. If you guys want to see that, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can see when all our future videos go up. If it isn't up already and you'll watch this in the future. So we have arrived in Norway. Let's see how long the queue is. Oh, 45 minutes. Is that what I said? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're doing it. Hey, So this is a quick service restaurant in China and me and Charlie was just saying that that is a bit of us. <laughs> Sweet and sour chicken. <gasps> mm. the kids menu. Yeah I know but still I'm looking at it. I'll just get two of them. <laughs> yeah. So maybe on our other airport day we could come to the Lotus Blossom Cafe. But then I do like the one in Japan that does a katsu curry. Oh that does sound you know nice. I mean? So 
Yeah, but aren't they mini things? Oh no, these won't be mini things, no, will they're, they? they're proper meals, yeah. yeah. It's just me. Got a place yourself. It looks a bit like in Norway, they've got drinks that are from the place. Oh, I like that bottle. Yeah, that is a cool bottle. And Dasani is the water they have everywhere here, isn't it? Yeah, that's like the... Trademark Disney Bo water. Yeah, Disney water. So I said earlier to Charlie, it was around the Guardians at the Galaxy um, time of the day, that I am crashing bad. I feel like I had a high at the beginning of the day. It was probably that um, cinnamon roll caked with um, vanilla icing stuff. But I crashed around then. I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it throughout the day. But to be honest guys, I've come back a little bit. I'm just a bit hungry. So we're gonna gradually make our way around the countries again and um, end up at Italy where we will be having our dinner. So we're just killing time at the moment. Next up on our second walk around of World Showcase is Germany. So Germany's actually quite small. But this Germany, this version of Germany. <laughs> Yeah, you're not, you're not generalising Germany. <laughs> Love that though, Dieter up there. Yep, you read that right. $79,000. Guys, I love Italy, like the actual real place Italy. Rome is one of my favorite places in the world. And I just love this little Italy. I don't know why, I just feel so, so at home. Their own version of the Trevi Fountain. So we are all checked in, and we are sat in the lobby area of Via Napoli, hungry. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm excited to see what... I've not actually looked at the menu for a little while, so I don't remember. Which is good. I've never looked at the menu ever, so... I mean, we know it's Italian. And we know I'm going to have something boring. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here for it. <laughs> my dinner has arrived. This massive <laughs> love heart shaped thing is the chicken. This is the spaghetti and this is the sauce, as you can see. It is ginormous. Let's see how I do. And then Will has got his fettuccine with chicken. With chicken in a cream parmesan sauce. Looks really this good fettuccine looks, looks like it's been cooked so well. Mine looks monstrous. Yeah, yours, I'm glad I went for this because that would put me off. You know what I'm like with eating? Yeah, well, we shall see how it goes, eh, boy? Hey boy. So guys, I have fully gave up on mine. I didn't have much left, but Charlie's polished it off for me. Uh, he gave up with his um, huge heart-shaped chicken. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that was really good food. Honestly, really, really nice food. Definitely recommend it, for sure. Even though I wasn't allowed my wine, because silly me, I haven't got my ID on me. Yeah. So I didn't question it. Right. But a nice nice glass of Gabby would have gone down nice for that, wouldn't it? At least we know now for the rest of the trip. Yeah, let's bring our passports out. Guys, I'm just waiting for Will to um, use the loo and walking through that main area. I feel like it's super loud in there, but it does look really nice. I feel like we missed out slightly by sitting in like a, another area of the restaurant. But the food's really nice, so yeah, it's a winner for me. So just walking out of the Anapoli and you know, the sun has gone down, so now everything's all lit up. It looks so pretty at night, including the Epcot ball, which on the camera looks a lot further away than what it actually is. But yeah, it looks absolutely stunning. It's all lit up. It looks lovely. So we're gonna head over towards the American Pavilion and then go a little bit further on. Hopefully view Epcot Forever around France because I have a plan. My plan is when Epcot Forever finishes is to leave the park via the World Showcase exit and pick up an Uber from the Broadwalk Hotel. Because I'm thinking everyone's going to go out the front 
or a majority of people will leave through the front of the park to use the Disney Transport, Ubers, the parking, the people that have driven, whereas the people that are going to leave through that exit I'm assuming will be less. So hopefully the Uber will be quicker and we'll get out of the park quicker too. So we'll let you know, well you guys will see, stick around and you'll see how that goes. We have found our patch. How is surprisingly empty. Yeah, I would... It just doesn't feel overly busy. I thought it would feel a lot busier. So where are we at France? Yeah, we've just come over. In between France and England. In between France and England, and we've come down not where the dessert party is to take place, which is slightly further towards France, which is that way. We've come down a set of stairs and then down another set to like a viewing point, right by the uh, like level with the water. Yeah, level with the water. <laughs> so much by I love that yeah that was so good that was really really good and that was my first ever Disney fireworks experience it that was. is a lie oh. Disneyland Paris well Disney World was my Dis first ever Disney World fireworks experience. and he's still got Fantasmic happily ever after and the not so scary Halloween party ones to come so stay tuned for those so we are now heading out of World Showcase as planned at that exit of the park and we're gonna head towards the Broadwalk Hotel to hopefully order an Uber, but I don't know quite how long it's going to take us, otherwise I'd order it now, but I don't want it to take us longer to get there than what Sorry, I anticipate. I thought, you, I thought you said this would be a lot quieter. Yeah, it probably is, boys. It's, it's like crazy. the salmon it's leaving like this park normally. Yeah, but look at all this space. Oh, no, okay. guys, look how busy it is. No, People no, that turn go around, turn around. I don't think that's that bad. Who knows? So let's go this way. Boy, yeah, let's I go. can show you the boardwalk. Oh yeah. Just love all the lights here at this hotel. All these are kind of like beauty lights, like round a oh, round a mirror. It, that's it, that's it. Oh, okay. The Uber's here. Super super quick. So definitely recommend this little one if you're grabbing an Uber after leaving Epcot. Welcome home. So that is another day wrapped up. We, I think we are absolutely smashing these days. Yeah, We've we done really so are. much. We did nearly every ride today at Epcot apart from that test track. Yeah, there's a few little ones we didn't do, but they, they weren't really on our list, by the yeah. way. So, <clears throat> they're everything we wanted to do. I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it today. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you haven't said... complained once. No, no, I've not complained, but yeah. I definitely, I'm like, <sighs> it's no, a lot. But 
We're going to get up and we're going to do it all again tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, we're going to Hollywood Studios tomorrow. We are. And spending the day there. But we just wanted to thank you all for watching this video. Yeah, thanks for making it to the end. If you haven't checked out our previous videos, go and check them out. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel so that you get notifications whenever we post any future videos. And we will leave you there for the night because we're going to... We're going we're gonna to hit the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Literally in a couple of minutes, yeah. we will both be asleep. Yeah. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys.